Today, cattle was really steady. That snowstorm that's on the horizon that's coming at the end of the week here is really underpinning prices, kind of offering a little bit of support. Uh, it will definitely, uh, you know, uh, definitely push the market higher because there's about 15 inches expected to fall in the Midwest area. Uh, that definitely is going to, you know, put a damper on, on production or at least being able to move the beef through the pipeline. And right now we're in an area where the demand is uh, pretty steady right now. And so uh, that would definitely kind of uh, interrupt uh, the, just the processing of, of the beef and being able to do, do the shipping. Uh, and the feeders have slipped a little bit. There's been a little, uh, you know, limited buying activity today, which makes it kind of interesting that they diverge from where the live cattle is. That just tells us that the market's kind of moving sideways a little bit. It hasn't fallen yet, though, because the, uh, the market overall, the direction is still to the upside. So we're still churning, you know, churning it higher. But let's face it, the farmers are really being pushed to the breaking point right now. It's so difficult for uh, the farmers to really get a handle on uh, where to go with this market. With the government shutdown, no data coming through, we, they, uh, it's hard to tell uh, which way we should go. That's really pushed a lot of traders also to the sideline. That's why we're seeing a little bit of uh, sluggishness in the futures the way they're trading right now. So uh, all that uncertainty is really weighing heavy on uh, futures right now, and especially the feeders today. Now the hogs were also lower. The futures really had a pullback from technical pressure. Interestingly enough, that the funds are rebalancing as well as the Goldman roll uh, is also happening right now. I believe today is the last day of that. So we might see a real change tomorrow because that African swine fever is still an issue. But, uh, and once, uh, you know, once we, we get past uh, some of the these other technical issues, I think that we're going to see the market start to be a little bit more buoyant. But uh, let's face it, the, the pork industry has really shouldered a lot of the challenges, certainly from the U.S.-China tariff war, as well as the government shutdown. And it has been truly difficult uh, for a lot of these farmers to, you know, to try to manage uh, what they, uh, their products and, what, and being able to move it a lot. Now with the hogs, there is some room to really bounce back. We're hoping that uh, that's what we're going to see over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be really difficult because we still are looking for some of the uh, news to come and we need a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the, the data. And uh, today, the, uh, President Trump is going to be uh, speaking at the Ag Conference. So I think that maybe we'll be able to get a little bit more information from that and it can help a lot of the, the commodities across the board, so the grains and the livestock from that point on.